Hello and welcome to this new EasyRed2 Modding SDK tutorial. Today you're gonna learn how to create and share LUT textures, which are textures like this. And this kind of texture are used to make color correction for the game that can be completely customized. So first, let's see how to create a texture like this. Let's open this texture into a software for editing images. So I will show you couple cool things about these textures. So basically this is how an LUT texture works. Here on the top you have the neutral LUT texture, which is just the collection of all the colors that the game can display. So here you have in a precise order every single pixel with a different color that the games can show. So every one of these pixels is different from all the other ones and it's unique. And here on the bottom, we got a modified texture that is the result of the map of the first texture. So this means that, for example, if in the original game you have this color right here, this is the remapped color that this LUT texture will generate. The same is with the second pixel. If this is the pixel here the game wants to render, this kind of color, well, this is the remapped color that the game will display. And this is for every possible shade of color. So basically, this texture represents a list of all the colors remapped from the original colors. So basically, this is how this kind of color correction works. It takes one pixel color and it translates into another pixel color using your LUT texture. So our goal is to create a texture like this, starting from a neutral LUT texture. The neutral LUT texture is given, and it's, it can be found here in the Easier 2 Color Correction Guide, or inside the SDK example folder in the, mod, in the Easier 2 Modding SDK. Here you will have this texture and this LUT which is also displayed inside this texture. This is an example of um, LUT texture that remaps, while these two are neutral LUTs. I suggest to start from this image, which is an image of the game without any effect on it. So this is a great starting point to create a color correction, because if you color correct this image with this texture on it, you will apply the same color correction both to this image to see the result and to this texture to create in immediately the color correction for the color corrected image. You're gonna see what this means. It's a little bit easier to show than to explain. So if I copy this image and I pass it into my photo editing software, here I will have my LOT texture that notice this needs to be exactly 1024 by 32 pixels. This is the exact resolution your texture needs to have. Make sure so to download correctly the LOT texture for the neutral one or to pick it correctly from this image. If you pick an image that is downscaled or upscaled, you're gonna break the LOT texture. So make sure to copy the original image. So open it first and then copy it or same from this one. So here I made sure that my texture is correct because this is the size I want, 124 by 32. And now I can start color correcting this image. Of course I will color correct the entire image. So the color correction that I'm gonna apply here will also be applied to the LUT texture resulting on an output of an LUT texture with the color correction I want to have. So remember that this image is not a random image, this is an image without any color correction applied. If you're gonna color correct an image that had already an applied color correction, you're gonna have a different result than the one you think you are creating. So I suggest to use this very image to, to, to make your color correction. So let's start color correcting this image. So again, remember that the translation we are gonna do is basically picking one pixel and translating its color into another one. 
So the kind of translation we are allowed to do here is changes in color, saturation, and luminosity. Here we can do this kind of changes. For example, with paint.net, I can change the brightness and the contrast of my image. This is a kind of allowed transformation. Or I can change the hue. Notice that this result you see here, it's completely possible to have in game. If you, for example, use this kind of transformation, so you can realize very cool effects. For example, this can look like an alien planet. And I can change, I can change the saturation, making something a little less colorful or much more colorful. Or I can even make a black and white transformation. I can, of course, change the likeness again. So what I can't do is procedural effects. Like I can't have an effect like this because this effect is not just a change of color, but adds some edge detection, which our texture won't allow us to do. So no um, algorithm based effect no oil painting, no pencil sketch, only hue, color, saturation, and stuff that just remap one pixel to another pixel without any special effect on it. So let's do an example. Let me actually do something very strange so we will see the changes in game. For example, I may want to have a, something very reddish like this for whatever reason. I want it maybe to be a little bit more dark, something maybe like this. And maybe I even want to shift my saturation a bit like this. Okay. So now that I applied all my color remapping to my image, I can extract the LOT texture. So first, let me analyze this very quickly. I will override my previous attempt with this one. And as you can see, there are some noticeable changes between the original and the remapped one. Especially here, the dark area is bigger, meaning that our image is remapping the dark colors more toward the black. You can say that with something like this, more color will be remapped to the complete black, while in the original texture, all pixels were different. So this is flattening a little bit our image, meaning that our output will have less colors. So make sure not to make your image too much flat, because that will lead to have less color um, available in the game. So we can now save this texture, I copied this one and pasted this, uh, pasted it here. I can now save this texture inside the Easy Red 2 modding SDK. And I have it here. Now that we have our texture ready, we could uh, go and uh, start the upload into the workshop. But first, you might want to try your LOT in a private testing. So you can copy your image inside this specific texture that you will find inside AppData, LocalLow, Corvo Studio 2 and then LOT. Here in this folder, you can put all the LOT that you want to have available just for you. So this folder will have LOT that doesn't come from the workshop and are all your private creation. So I will call this test LOT. Now we can go testing the game. So make sure to close the game, copy your texture inside the folder, and now you can start the game. And now you will see your LOT here. And as you can see, it's very similar to what we made inside paint.net. As I spoiled to you, also, this has very many black areas, so this is not an optimal LOT in case 
you don't want to, la to lose color information. However, it just works and it's the same result I created inside Paint.net. So we can say that this LUT is working correctly and we can now close the game. And here, back in the modding SDK, we can start uploading it. So to do so, let's select your LUT and choose easier to mods, textures, set up LUT filter. We can rename this to my LUT test. And now you will have this object that links to your LUT and as texture type set to LUT. So to finalize this, select your LUT test object and mark it into your asset bundle for your mod as usual. And you can now start the upload. Before starting the upload, as always, make sure that EZR2 is closed. You can check that your LUT is correctly set inside the file. So here I have an LUT texture and it's my LUT test. Also make sure that your texture is 124 by 32 because otherwise this won't start the upload correctly and it won't work correctly in the game. Also, it means that the information of the colors is wrong. Here the texture is not exactly like this because this is the exact size that I map each of the possible pixels that the game can display, the possible colors. So once everything is checked and uh, looks correct, you can start the upload. So now that we are in game, we can test the LOT. So we can go to settings and choose color correction. And here you will see the LOT that you downloaded from the workshop. So my LOT test one is the LOT we made. In fact, as you can see, it has the reddish tonality that we saw in the previous test. So we can say that the LOT is working. So congratulations for uploading your first color correction on the Steam Workshop.